Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at steps to wipe out the hard drive and reinstall a clean copy of Windows 10 without a USB media. The ability to wipe out the hard drive and reinstall Windows 10 on your computer is usually a recommended method to improve system performance when the computer is not working correctly, running slow or you are dealing with battery problems. Also the process of removing everything and starting fresh with a new installation can help you to get rid of tough viruses and prepare the device when you're planning to find a new owner without giving away your information. Before we move on, this process will delete everything on the hard drive, including your files, settings, programs, and the Windows installation. It is recommended to create a temporary full backup before proceeding in case you need to roll back or recover your files. You can check the video description below with the link to the video on how to create a backup of your computer. So to wipe out the hard drive clean and reinstall Windows 10, use these steps open settings and then go to update and security then open the recovery page and under reset this PC click the get started button since we want to erase everything on the hard drive select the remove everything option here we have two choices you can use the cloud download option which downloads a fresh copy of windows 10 from the microsoft servers or you can use the locally available image usually it's recommended to use the cloud download option but if you want to use a custom image that came with your computer or you don't have an internet connection you can use the local reinstall for the purpose of this video we're going to be using the cloud download option now click the change settings option in this page, make sure the download Windows option is enabled and you can actually leave this option off if you're just reinstalling Windows 10 on a computer that you want to keep. But if you're preparing the device to give it away or to sell it, you want to security erase your, the hard drive first. So then you will enable this option. Once you selected your settings, click the confirm button. Now click the next button to continue. Before clicking the reset button to proceed with the uh, reinstallation of Windows 10, make sure to read what actually is going to happen when you use this feature. As you can see in here, it's going to remove all the personal files and accounts, changes you made, apps and other programs, and it will download and reinstall a fresh copy of Windows 10. Once you're ready, click the reset button. After the installation, you will need to complete the out of box experience to complete the setup. So on the first page, select your region and then click yes. Now select your keyboard layout and click yes. If you don't need to add a second keyboard layout, click the skip button. If you have a Wi-Fi connection, you will be required to sign in to continue. To agree to the license and terms, click the accept button. This page is available to me because I'm setting up Windows 10 Pro, but if you are using Windows 10 Home, you will not see this option. Now click next to continue. Here's where we're going to create an account for Windows 10. Enter your Microsoft account name, which in this case will be your email address. And now click the next button. Confirm your password and click next. Now we're going to create a pen to sign in on Windows 10 without a password. Create a four digit pin. And click OK. In this page, select your privacy settings. And don't forget to scroll down so you can see all the available settings. If you see an option that you don't like to use, simply turn it off. Once you selected your settings, click the set button. Here you can choose to enable timeline to view your activity history, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click no. You can also link your phone to your computer, but you can do that later. If you want to back up your files on desktop, documents, and picture folders, click next. If you want to keep them on your computer, click only save files to this PC option. Windows 10 also gives you the choice to install Office automatically if you have a subscription with Microsoft 365, but it's also another thing that you can do later. So click the Not Thanks button. If you want to use Cortana, you can check this option and click the Set button. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to skip using the Digital Assist. So I'm going to click the Not Now button. And 
And that's it, we're now back into the desktop with a clean installation of Windows 10. After the process, you can restore your files from backup and reinstall all the applications you need. It is also a good idea to open settings and then check for updates to make sure that the device has the latest security and driver updates. If you have any questions, you can ask in the Pure Info Tech forums to get answers. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.